Once rail lines went to every town on this island, you may name exceptions like Balmoris and Bonflory, and there was plans for those towns to be included in the network. But very few people live far from a railway track. The railway bringing communication and travel and freight transport at faster and cheaper and in terms of goods bulkier rates. But also something sinister. The reed killing rail car that travels up and down all lines spraying copious quantities of chemicals to control reeds. Maybe it's different now, but one time there will be a fog of chemicals following the rail car that will take a while to dissipate. Now you can believe the official literature by the pharmaceutical companies with state approval regarding these chemicals. But these are the same people who brought you telidomide, the blood transfusion scandal, the OK for tobacco smoking and asbestos. I speak to men and women who are honest and can think for themselves and question, who will tell you that they have to treat these chemicals in a different way from the official instructions, and are very wary of them, and rightly so. However, we the public are left in the dark, the owners in theory of the rail infrastructure, but more importantly the owners of this space called Ireland, or another way of looking at it, there is a set of universal rules of respect for all beings, including ourselves and worlds, and we are trying to align ourselves with these rules. We seek to be selfless, not selfish. We seek to do the right thing and be in harmony with nature. So we need to know what are the chemicals employed, what is the independent research on its efficacy and effect in human and animal and insect and plant life. How much is being sprayed? But more, most importantly, what is the schedule of spraying? And this should clearly be displayed on a website and to de demand that warning signs well in advance are displayed of the dates and times of spraying on a particular line. We have to investigate is there alternatives to spraying chemicals that are affecting the railway infrastructure. I like to think that we are working our way towards that future. And many alternatives are being considered. Some are being contemplated could have knock-on effects such as genetically modified insects that attack particular weeds and stay within a designated area. Genetically modified virus that kill their host weed then themselves. But I believe it will be robots that is the future and that will spot a weed growing under the surface and either kill it or remove it or both. Going up and down our rail lines with a human intervention with regularity. Robots that self-learn and collate statistics and notice patterns to improve their weed destructiveness. So again, we need to know the schedule of air and air and spraying chemicals and they should have warnings in local media and in the stations and along other points of human interaction of the line of approaching spraying. I sent an email to Aaron Road Aaron last Friday to their infrastructure manager and asked him where on their website is the schedule of chemical spraying on their rail lines. And to my mind it is implicit in the email that the question broadens to chemical spraying on all the inf rail infrastructure. Hopefully I will get a reply.